So this is physics chapter 5, 5.1, 5.4. It's very easy. Uh, let's start. Jane has a mass of 80 kilograms. If he stands on one foot and the area of each shoe is 200 centimeters, then the pressure is going to be how much pressure is F over A. The force is going to be 800 because 80 kilograms to 80 kilograms. You multiply by 10 because W equals mg. So 80 times 10 because G is 10. In my area is going to be 0 0.02. Why? Because it's in centimeters squared. To go to meters squared, you have to divide by 10,000. Whoa, 1,000, 10,000. Uh, and you get 4 to times 10 to the 4. Yeah. Question 2. Uh, when a man stands on the floor with both feet, he exerts less pressure than when he's standing with one foot. Always know the more area, uh, the less the pressure is. Question 3. Uh, you have a juice box that has a mass of 1 kg and dimensions 8 type by 8 by 13. And they rest on a table. What's the force? What's the force exerted by the box on the table? If the mass is 1 kg, the force is going to be the weight, which is 10 newtons, because W equals mg, so 1 times 10. Part B, the pressure exerted by the box on the table to two decimal places. Okay, pressure is force over area. The force is 10. The area is, okay, look at it. This is actually a box, which looks like this. Uh, like this. The area is going to be the area of this base, which is given 13 here, and then it's 13 by 8, so 18. So thir the area of the base is 13 times 8. So 10 over 13 times 8. Uh, wait, uh, what will 13 like? 13 times 8 is the base, right? Uh, you're gonna get. Hold up, 13 times 8. 104. And this is centimeters squared. So we always need meters squared. If you divide by 10,000, uh, you get 0 0.0104. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yep, 0 0.0104. And you should get. I think you get 960 something. Uh, let me do it. Uh, yeah, you get 961 point something something something. Uh, they want it in kPa, so kilo. Kilo, you divide by 1000. If I divide by 1000, you get 0 0.961. They want two decimal places, but you only take 0.96. Uh, the force exerted. So the box is down like this. The force exerted on the the force exerted will always stay the same. It's still the same weight. It's the same object, but the surface area will decrease. Cause look at the surface area now. It's the less surface area. The pressure exerted by the box will therefore increase. <laughs> Since you're decreasing the area, that means the pressure will increase. Question four. The pressure is measured using a measure a pressure gauge, and liquid pressure is measured with a manometer. The pressure at point A in the syringe, uh, it's five newtons, okay, and they get said the area is two centimeters squared. So the pressure at point A is going to be five divided by the area, which is zero point zero 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 two, because two divided by ten thousand, and you get twenty five thousand. But they want it in kilopascals, so you divide by 1000, you get 25. The pressure at point B. Point A and point B are at the same level. So it's also going to be 25 kp. In a liquid of density P, the, de the pressure is going to be PGH, rho GH. Remember rho GH for liquid pressure. The density of seawater is 1020. The maximum depth of the Atlantic Ocean is 8.5 km. Use G equals 10 and the atmospheric pressure is 10. They want the pressure at maximum depth. They want the pressure total, the total pressure. Always the total pressure is equal to the liquid pressure plus the atmospheric pressure. So is this going to be? The liquid pressure, so pressure total equals the pressure of the liquid 
plus the pressure of the atmosphere. So it's going to be the liquid pressure, which is rho gh, plus the atmospheric pressure, which is 10 to the 5. Rho gh is 10,000, uh, 1,020 times g, which is 10, times the uh, uh, the height, which is 8,500. Why 8,500? This is in km. You need to change it to meters for you do times 1,000. Okay? Plus 10 to the power of 5. And you get like a, a big ass number. What you have to do? Wait, let me do it like here. Ugh. 10, 20 times 10 times 8,500 plus 10 to the 5. You get 868. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They want it in mega pascals. Mega, you actually do and divide by 10 to the 6. So divide by 10 to the 6 and you get 86.8. Question eight. Uh, they only want the the same thing. Uh, height is seven thirty. Uh, density is ten twenty. G is ten. The pressure due to the water. You just do seven thirty times ten twenty times ten, and you get uh, what do you get? You get seven thirty times. <laughs> You get seven four four six zero zero zero. Since it's mega again, you have to divide by ten to the six. You get seven point four four. Seven actually I put seven point four five I think. Seven point four five should be correct since you're rounding this to three that's three significant figures. Seven point four five. Question nine. As depth increases, the pressure obviously increases. Uh, the cross section area of a shoe is 150. The weight of the person wearing these shoes, so two shoes, is 600 newtons. How do you find the pressure? Again, force over area. F 600 divided by the area, which is 2 times 0, uh, 0 0.015. Why? Because it's two shoes. The only set of one shoe is 150. The guy's wearing two shoes, but two times 0 0.015, because this is in, in meter squared, and you get two uh, twenty thousand. <laughs> you get twenty thousand. They want it in uh, scientific notation for two times ten to the four. Question eleven. Uh, diver of mass seventy, density 20, 10, 10, 20, The diver is five meters. New g equals ten. What's the pressure on the diver for the water? So only only liquid pressure. So rho dh ten twenty times five times ten and you get fifty one. Fifty one thousand. So you have to make it to KPA. So divide by one thousand for kilo. This is very easy. Whenever you have the hydraulic press, use F one over over A one because F two over A two. Force one is twenty. Uh, A one is zero point zero 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 four. Uh, F two, we don't know what we're trying to find it. M two, zero point zero zero five. One two three four. Yeah, you cross multiply, and you're gonna get two hundred fifteen. Question thirteen. The plunger sticks to the surface under the influence of atmospheric pressure because of the atmospheric pressure is greater than the, the pressure of the gas inside the plunger. So once she puts atmospheric pressure, uh, once you put atmospheric pressure, uh, yani, it's, since it's greater than the pressure inside, uh, it's going to stick, it's going yani, to stay stuck. So yeah, since the sucker is greater than the side. Uh, what is true when you're inhaling through a straw? The pressure inside the straw is smaller than the pressure outside. Obviously, because in the straw it's less pressure. Difference in pressure can cause the liquid to be pulled out the straw. 
and if I want me to destroy it would be impossible to fix it. Uh, I told you guys uh, this question is gonna come obviously uh, in the computer they're, they're probably gonna ask it Sarah. question 15 if a fluid is open up to the atmosphere it will be acted upon on also atmospheric pressure anything in the atmosphere has atmospheric pressure so they put tube A in the beaker it rises to a height of 800 millimeters if another vacuumized tube raises to Yep, 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 yep. And they're just saying this. They put another bucket or whatever. What's going to be the height? It's also going to be 800. Because whatever you do, the liquid will always rise to the fixed height of the pressure. Whatever you do. If it's the same liquid, it's going to be the same height. <laughs> Question 17. What's this? It's a barometer. It measures atmospheric pressure. Uh, and the unit is an HG. Question 18. What is this? Is a closed end manometer? What's the pressure P? Okay, for a closed, why is it closed end? By the way, because they said it's measuring the pressure of the gas. For a closed end manometer, pressure is rho g h two minus h one. H two is the one on the right. H one the one on the left. Okay, so this is where you're taking the point of reference. H two, so let's rho is thirteen thousand six hundred. So I believe it's thirteen point six. You have to make it in kilograms times 1,000. 13,600 equal uh, as the times G times H2 minus H1. H2 is always usually the one on the right, which is 0. I wrote that, 0 0.025 minus height 1. It's actually minus 0 0.025. These are 2.5 centimeters, 2.5 for those who can't see. It's actually negative 0 0.025. Why? Because it's under the, the line of Drew. It's under it. It's, it's a negative. 0 0.025 minus 0 0.025. Minus minus. So you plus. So 13,600 times 10 to the number 0 uh, times uh, 0 0.025 minus 0 point again 0 0.25 minus minus so you'll get after multiplying I think let me check 13,600 times 0 0.025 plus 0 0.025 You get 680. So I think I did something wrong. You get 6800. My bad. 6800. Convert this to kilopascals. Divide by 1, 2, 3. You get 6.8 because you divide by 1000. Question 19. Uh, this one's very easy. They're just asking you to see which one has the highest pressure, which one has the lowest pressure. And they're saying, note, some of them here are closed and some are open. Akid, the closed end ones will have the least pressure because uh, they don't have atmospheric pressure acting on that, on it because it's closed end. But let's see, the ones that are closed ones are A and D. A is a closed end manometer. You look at the right side, the height of the right side, and D, the right of the height side. Obviously, D is higher. Uh, for the, uh, the pressure of D is greater than that of A. So A has you know, the least pressure here because it's closed end and it has the lowest level. D is closed end, but it's higher than A. If we put four foot, then B, C, and E, you have to look at the level. Uh, here, the level is really low. On the right, for it's three. Comes after this. And then the, here the level is uh, part B. It's the same. For it, it has just more pressure than E, but does it have less pressure than number one? Let's see. Number C, it has higher pressure than E. If you can see, it's a bit higher. If you see any carefully, 
So this is one, and this is two. In any container, a liquid uh, always forms a uniform level. A liquid settles at the same level, respective of this type of chief so of vessels. By putting a syringe, a potential a, a partial vacuum is, is created. The higher pressure outside the syringe pushes the fluid inside. The bicycle pump is a mechanical device, moves a fluid by pressure or motion or suction. Also. Question 21 Was this instrument called the hydraulic press? Uh, if the force is exerted, it's 10, 12 newtons at 20 centimeters squared. And then the upward force of the other newtons, 36 newtons. What's the area? Whenever you have this, you always do F1 over A1, F2 over A2. Force 1 is uh, 12, 12 newtons. Area 1 is 0 0.002. Uh, force 2 is 36. Over area 2 is X. Cross multiplied, you get 60. Centimeter squared. I think you get the answer in meter squared, and you have to multiply by 10,000. Let me see. Yeah, you get the answer in meter squared, so you have to multiply by 10,000, and you get 60 centimeters squared. An open end manometer is the one to find the difference between the atmospheric and gas. If it's open, there's atmospheric pressure. If it's closed, it's only the absolute pressure of the gas. Question 23, the value of height 2. Okay, you know that it's always rho g h2 minus h1. Rho is 13,600. Again, why? Because you have to convert this to meet into uh, kilograms as your density. It's 13,600. Times g which is 10 times height 2 minus height 1 right it equals 30,000 it's 30 kp 30 multiply and divide you get h2 minus h1 equals 30,000 over uh, I think 13,600 and you get 13. you get a really long decimal okay and you're gonna add it yeah it's h2 minus h1 oh. equals this. you're gonna add it to where did they mention h1 where did they mention, they mention it somewhere? Yeah, they said h1 is 15. For h2 minus h1 uh, equals. Wait, let me repeat these last parts because I, I, I don't know why I'm confused. So we got this, yeah? And we know h1 is 15 centimeters, which is 0 0.15 meters. Okay? Is it well? Yeah. So h2 minus 0 0.15. You have 10 here, you have 13,600 equals 30,000. You multiply these out, you get H2 minus 0 0.15 equals 30,000 divided by whatever that is. Wait, uh, 13,600, yeah. So 31, 2, 3 divided by 13,600 uh, times 16. Yeah, H2 uh, H minus 0 0.15 equals 30,000 over 12, uh, shoot 12, 13, I'll say 15, 13,600, actually, it's, well, 136,000, because you're adding another 0, it's times 10, yeah? You get H2 minus 0 0.15 equals, I think, 0 0.22, 0 0.22, okay? Uh, in centimeters, this is in meters. Anytime you find this in centimeters, so in centimeters that's 22 centimeters. Uh, so H2 
uh, is equal to 0 0.22 plus 0 0.15, I think. Yeah, 0 0.15. And you're going to get H2 equals 0 0.37 meters. But we want centimeters, so it's going to be 37 centimeters. Question 24. Uh, it's very easy. They're saying, you no, know, they squeeze this rubber hand and then they, they put the glass rod in the liquid and then they let go of the rubber hand. That way, the liquid will enter the glass, star, glass rod. So, when the rubber head is squeezed, the pressure of air inside the tube is lower than atmospheric pressure. Anytime uh, you have anything moving in, it's because the pressure of it became low. Okay, so the pressure of the syringe became lower. So, that's why the air moved in uh if you know what i mean so once you squeeze this knot here the pressure decreases that way uh liquid will come in because it's a low pressure when the rubber hand is squeezed the pressure of uh air inside the hydrometer deviates from atmospheric pressure by since we're talking about the pressure of air it's a fluid okay it's inside the hydrometer so you're gonna do rho gh for it Rho is going to be 1.2 times 10 to the 3. G is 10. And the height is uh, 0 0.15. Because they said column of 15 centimeters. This 2 meters is 0 0.15. And you should get 1,000. Uh, yeah, you're going to get 180. Whoa. Whoa. That ain't my answer. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. This. You're gonna get 1800 because you are. I, I did something wrong with my calculator. You get 1800 because they want it in kilo PA. I divide by 1000 and you get 1.8. That's it. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching.